Libra friends, what's up? Are you ready for your word on the street for the week? It's word on the street Wednesday. I have the spiritual tarot today. We're starting with the Knight of Cups at the bottom, getting straight into it. I'm hearing you have many admirers with that Knight of Cups. Oh yeah, I just cut the deck open to the Knight of Wands. Many admirers. Ooh, but he's riding on a hyena. Oh my gosh, it's almost like a pack of hyenas, Libra. I don't like that. Hmm. Let's go. What's the word on the street about Libra? Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. The Knight of Wands. That people are on you like a pack of hyenas. They're thirsty AF too. He's in a desert. Look at the cactus. You have a pack of thirsty hyenas. You should see my face right now. I'm like, uh, okay, okay, Libra, okay, spirit. Wow, with the Knight of Cups back at the bottom. You know, hyenas, they're very predatory, but, um, I'm feeling with this Knight of Cups. These people are usually pretty heartless. But for some reason, you, you tame them or you bring out their fun, playful, um, that emotional side of them. With the Orca and the Knight of Cups at the bottom? You make the hyenas show their heart. And I just heard their hand as well. Because you see through people, Libra. Mm hmm. Page of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. With the moon at the bottom. Maiden, mother, and crone. You come from a very powerful lineage. I'm feeling like this is your mother's side of your family. generations with temperance behind that with the empress behind that of earth angel and the ability to alchemize and balance and create and birth into creation Okay. Hoo-wee. People are creeping on your destiny. Like, this page of swords. They're fighting off a swarm of bees. And there's feathers flying everywhere. Whoever has been stalking you with this page of swords, 
and the wheel of fortune, whoever's been creeping on your destiny and stalking your destiny, Libra, your spirit team is hitting them back. I heard, hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Your spirit team is like, come on, hit me with your best shot. And this person is like, it's like taking shots into the dark. All those bees, all those feathers, everything that's happening around your stalkers. Your creepers and stalkers are being attacked. For trying to stop, change, alter, or slow down your destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. I guess with the moon card, this page of swords or these people, these stalkers, thought they could intimidate you. They really thought they could just stay in the dark and they would never be found out or they would never be brought, it would never be brought to light. Oh, the star. They didn't know, Libra. Yes, they did. They knew who they were coming against, what they were dealing with when it came to you. They just didn't want to believe it. They didn't want to believe that you are indeed a star. heard Stargate. Star Child. For some of these people, because look, it looks to me like she's standing in front of this Stargate. Okay. And there's a trail. The trail begins in her solar plexus, though. And look at the footprints in the trail. What you're creating for generations to come and what you're continuing on from the generations before you, you're a star messenger, star healer, star seed. And you also, you're a guardian of the gate of a star gate though, not like a guardian of the gates as in um, gatekeepers, but you are a guardian of a star gate to these higher dimensions. It's like people have to go through you first. So maybe you feel Libra like I'm always being tested. Um, why do I feel like I'm always being tested? Or people are testing me. People are testing your gangster is what I'm hearing. Because you're a starseed, a galactic one, a chosen one. What you're here to do, what you're here to create, who you're here to be. Your existence alone in this day and time, Libra, is ultra intimidating.
to the ones that continue to operate in the shadows. See, with the death card at the bottom, to clarify the star, you've seen death. Some of you have had your own NDEs, near-death experiences, or OBEs, out-of-body experiences. You have watched the transition of loved ones. You know where you belong, Libra. Your purpose is great. I don't want to sound cliche or whatnot, but my spirit guides just said your purpose is, is even greater than you. Your purpose is even greater than you. For this life, Libra. They have to go through you to get to that next. So if they do you wrong, they're stopped in their tracks. They do not get to excel, okay? With you being this star seed, star messenger, star healer, star gate keeper. It's like they have to start back wherever they were before they came for you. <laughs> Let's go. Just had to check the time. Okay, we're good. 12 minutes in. What's the word on the street about Libra? Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. You know how to manifest. Libra. Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing people calling you lucky. And you're like, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. But you are also tapping into these universal forces. I definitely feel led to read about this Ace of Pentacles. There's a message here for us, Libra. Wow, with the High Priestess at the bottom. Ooh, your connection to other worlds, other dimensions, other realms. If you're not lucky, you're blessed. Yes. Ace of Pentacles. I am the gift of manifestation. I am realization, departure, beginning, and opening. I am liquid matter, condensed, crystalline, structured, always moving, and spherical. I am the gift of realization. It shows itself as a translucent golden spear engraved with the pentacle. It is dense, made of metal, and descends from above into a masculine hand. As it comes down to a lush garden, it draws trajectories of light, of expansion. You hold the code is what I just heard. You're like an uh, intergalactic code breaker. Hoo -hoo -hoo, universal code. What is going on with this high priestess? No, for real, you guys. I can't show you the majority of the card, but I'm telling you the high priestess is here. And it's, she's another worldly card. 
All right, one more card before we move into the Kipper. The Page of Cups. Again, with the Death card at the bottom. This Page of Cups energy looks like they are entangled up with an octopus and they're fighting off like a sea serpent. And with death here at the bottom, I'm telling you, you've escaped it. You have escaped. Death that was supposed to be certain. That's insane. Like, these forces were trying to entangle you up and sting you and poison you until you withered away to nothing, to just the shell. And then they just end it for you. The Ten of Swords behind it, I'm telling you. But instead, here you are. The Eight of Pentacles. Becoming a master of your craft. Master manifesting. Master of your craft. Libra. Period. Before we get into the Kipper, let's go ahead and get the Charm. I'm going to put these into some other holder jar, but for now, what's the word on the street about Libra? What's the word on the street about Libra? I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Okay. Ooh-wee! You got the keys, keys, keys. That you have a key, Libra. Ooh. This little um, ship navy type of marine symbol. You have the ability to go deep. Some of you may also be traveling overseas. Beautiful. The Hamza hand. You're protected. The starfish. Many of you have a um, a connection with Jesus, with the starfish, a, per a very personal connection and relationship. You have two keys. And then we have a tree here. And this reminds me, I'm hearing the ventricles of the heart. Your heart keeps your connection with your ancestors, okay, strong. And then we have these beautiful two different butterflies. So yes, you have transformed. Not once, but twice in this life. And your spirit's sweetheart. Don't forget it. Okay, Libra with sweetheart at the bottom of the Hungarian Gypsy. Let's go ahead and shuffle the Kipper once. Yep, high honor. You are spirit, sweetheart, and a person of high honor. You deserve to be respected. And you will be. Courtship, again, a lot of admiration with a pathway, but you're focused on your divine mission here. You're focused on the, your path, on what's in front of you, moving even more towards the divine, the light. You're staying away from 
the shadows, staying away from dark energies or anyone that brings that kind of energy. Wow. Word on the street is Libra, you're moving. You're going places. You're on a journey to great fortune. Great fortune at the bottom to clarify journey. Word on the street about Libra. <laughs> Libra, I wanted one more card. Great fortune. Give this reading a big thumbs up if you claim this abundance in great fortune, this windfall, this golden light energy. Oh my gosh, and it's going to feel like a dream with the distant horizons. This is in your near future. If you're not already experiencing this, Libra. One shuffle. There's a special hello from a passed over pet. We have the fidelity card here. The dog. It's lying on um, a grave. And I heard a special hello from a passed over pet. A visit with some money. What about the visit? What about the visit? Anger. Gift. Someone wants to plan to see you. And they want to bring you a gift. Or you're planning to see somebody and you want to give them a gift. This is angering somebody else. This is bringing a lot of anger and frustration to somebody else though. The marriage card. And the money or maze at the bottom, opening up that portal, keeping that portal of abundance and windfalls flowing in for you. The journey, the chariot behind that with the gift. When you go off the market, Libra, I don't know if you're going to get married or not, or whether this is just a serious commitment. Ooh, wee, it's going to anger so many people. Yep, widow. It's going to bring sorrow and sadness. Whoa. Yeah. Jeez. These people are so jealous, okay, of your happiness and the way that others, you provide hope. Libra, you provide hope. You're desired, okay? You're going to be rolling in the dough and the moolah. You have the money card. A lot of jealousy. Again, I feel like this jealousy is around your abundance, but also a relationship or an incoming relationship that's going to make you and your person very happy and merry. Yeah. But if someone chooses to waste their time and their life messing with you by being an enemy to you or your person, sickness will befall upon them. Sickness and enemy. The enemy will be sick. This Windfall, this great fortune, 
or even this divine union, okay? It's meant to be, and it's going to happen in this life, Libra. This has been your Word on the Street reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give your girl a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, everybody, stay balanced, stay blessed. Peace.